गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स अवर यू होप दैट यू आल आर फाइन एंड वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड अवर लास्ट कॉन्सेप्ट और चैप्टर इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो दैट वॉज चैप्टर नंबर थर्टीन वट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू कम्प्लीट योर वर्क यू हैव टू सबमिट योर वर्क एंड यू हैव टू हेल्प योर पेरेंट्स ऑल्सो यू हैव टू कम्प्लीट इट इज आर गोल्डन टाइम टू कम्प्लीट योर वर्क कम्प्लीट योर नोट बुक्स एंड कम्प्लीट योर वर्क इन योर फेयर नोट बुक्स make your all notebooks fair do your work in fair notebooks okay in today class we are going to start a new chapter that is congruency of a triangle that is congruency of triangles before starting the concept of congruency we should know what do you mean by congruent what do you mean by congruency of triangles in this chapter is students this chapter is not only important from the point of view for class 7th as well as for class 9th and in class 10th so it will be repeated or the same work will be done in class 9th that is chapter number 7 and same will be done in chapter class 10th in chapter number 6 so it is very important chapter one of that is that it is not repeated in class 8 but 9th and and 10th for both classes this chapter congruency is very important congruency of triangle what do you mean by congruency before going to congruency i give you the few examples of our day to day life have you had in daily basis you it takes or you eat biscuits what do you observe in this bis biscuits what do you observe in this biscuits can you tell me what you observe in this biscuits have you seen the shaving blade have you seen the shaving blade no have you seen the tiles of your house you see have you have seen the tiles of your house now you have seen the shaving blades you have seen the uh, biscuits so what the common thing you found in all these things yes what yes all these things have same shape and same size these all things have the same shape and same size so when the when the figures in a geometry have the same shape and same size they are called congruent so the relation of two object being congruent is called congruency so what do you mean by congruent and what do you mean by congruency so the relation of two object being congruent congruent means if they have the same size and same shape they are called congruent and the relation of two object being congruent is called congruency okay and it is applicable only basically in plane figures so what uh, basically related to the Uh, different figures. So when, when uh, do you will observe the congruency in your daily life? If our our my hand is covering this completely, it is completely. But that is called also congruent. If I change the shapes, if I change the shapes of them, if I put in them in other another order, this is also called the congruency the order may be change the shape uh, the position might be change but these are shapes same because they were overlapping each other that is the best example of congruency in our day to day life congruent and congruency congruency is the relation of congruent the congruency is the relation of two object being congruent that's called congruency relation relation of two object on the basis of congruent is known as a congruency when two when the two planes are called congruent suppose i have this piece of paper and in this piece of paper we if i fold it it and get the two congruent rectangle one is this one and another is this one so these two rectangle are congruent because they are overlapping each other because they are overlapping each other that's why it is called 
congruent. Similarly, when the two, this is about the plane figures. Now, when two line segments are called congruent, can you tell when the two line segments are congruent? Can you tell if two line segments have same length, they are called if two line segments have the same length they are called congruent when two line segments have same length they are called congruent at the same time if two line segments are congruent if two line segments are Congruent, they, they have the same length. Isn't there? When two line segments have same length, suppose our there is a line segment AB. Suppose there is a line segment AB and it is of 8 cm. There is another line segment that is PQ and it is also of 8 cm. This is of 8 cm, this is of 8 cm. So they are called congruent because two line segments, these two line segments have same length because here AB is equal to PQ. AB is equal to PQ is equal to 8 cm. AB is equal to PQ is equal to 8 cm. That's why they are called congruent. So we can say that AB is equal to PQ is equal to 8 cm. So one, one, one thing I want to tell you that and when their length have are equal, it means they are congruent and we use a symbol for congruency that is congruent. AB congruent PQ. AB congruent PQ. When length are same, when the length have, when the two side line segments have same length, then they are called, and this is the symbol for congruency. This is the symbol for congruency. This is the symbol for congruency. Is that clear students? This is the symbol for congruency. Is that clear? Yes. Now what we have discussed, we have introduced the concept of congruency of triangle, the relation is called congruent when two figures congruency, when two figures are congruent. When two line segments have equal length, they are called congruent. Agar do line segments ki length equal hoti ho, kya kalati hai? Congruent kalati hai. Or agar if two called line segments have same length, they are called congruent. And if they are congruent, then they have the same length. Means length is same, they will be congruent. And if they are congruent, then length will be same. So these are two vice versa concepts which is related to line segment. Line segments are equal, they are congruent. If they are congruent, then mean it measure is same. The next one is angles. You all have studied about the angles in your previous classes. In sixth class, you have learned about the angles, different types of angles. You all have learned about the angles. So we will talk about the angles. We will talk about the angles.
angles congruency of angles when two angles have same measure is called congruent when two angles have same measure they are called congruent or we can say that our superposition superposition means when two angles suppose this is an angle a b c of 60 degree and this is an angle of p q r of 60 degree ye bhi 60 degree ka hai ye bhi 60 degree ka to dono ka measure kitna hua 60 60 so here angle abc is equal to angle pqr is equal to 60 degree both are 60 degree it means when they are the same measure they are called congruent therefore triangle abc congruent to triangle sorry angle abc congruent to angle pqr because they both have the same measure is that clear students so what we have learned we have learned the angles and if the angles have the same measure means if they are in similar position they are overlapping each other just suppose these are, i am representing these two angles and if two angles are overlapping each other this is also called congruence congruent if these suppose this is the angle of 90 degree my this hand is representing 90 degree my this hand is representing 90 degree this is also called the congruent is that clear any doubt uh, every time it is not necessary that it, they should be same or oh, every time they should be same so this is the congruency of angles after the congruency we will start the concept of congruency of triangle before congruency of triangle we are going to discuss the exercise 7 point okay before congruency of triangles when to just when the two triangles copy each other when the two triangles overlap each other they are called congruent or you can say that when two triangles have same shape and same size are called are called congruent are called congruent so they have they we have to use the word that is corresponding that is called corresponding so congruency congruency of triangle it is very important concept students again i am repeating again i am repeating congruency of triangle or congruent triangle when two triangles have same shape and size they are called congruent suppose triangle a b c and triangle p q r these two triangles are congruent if if uh, now what we when two triangles are congruent then they have some few things which are called corresponding when two triangles are congruent that means a will falls on p b will falls on q and c will fall on r if we are using the name we we should be very particular about using the name if i am writing triangle abc congruent to triangle pqr if i am writing triangle abc congruent to triangle pqr it means a will fall on p b will fall upon q and c will fall upon r in that case these vertex will fall in each other same ab will falls on pq ac will falls on pr and bc will falls upon qr so under this we can say that this side is corresponding to this 
this side is corresponding to this and this side is corresponding to this this vertex A corresponding to P vertex B corresponding to angle Q and angle C, angle C. vertex C is corresponding to R same way we can say that the not only the vertex what are also congruent yes what are also congruent so in all such cases first of all we will talk about corresponding vertices A and P B and Q C and R these are corresponding vertices is that clear A corresponding to P B corresponding to Q C corresponding to R these are called corresponding vertices or we can write in this way also A corresponding to P B corresponding to Q and C corresponding to R now corresponding sign corresponding sign AB corresponding to PQ AB corresponding to PQ BC corresponding correspond to QR BC QR and AC corresponding to PR this is a symbol for corresponding A corresponding P this is about vertex this is about sides similarly what is that corresponding about angles corresponding angles about angles so here what will be angle A corresponding to angle P angle B corresponding to angle Q and angle R corresponding to angle C this is related to about angles this is related about the angles so when two triangles are congruent then we must very particular about here yes, students very particular about about the naming and presentation we can take the name of abc somehow any of we can we can write it abc we can write it bca we can write it cba but we cannot write we have to just change this second triangle according to this first one so we must be very careful about writing the names or by corresponding the vertex to vertex corresponding sides to corresponding sides and angles to angles is that clear students what do you mean by congruent when two triangles have the same shape and same size in this way this is a triangle and this is another triangle they both have the same shape and same size they both have the same shape and same size this is called congruency and when two triangles are congruent then their vertex are corresponding a corresponding to p b corresponding to b corresponding to a corresponding to p b corresponding to q c corresponding to r and similarly this one students one choti si exercise is like that is 7.1 first is my fill up sir two line segments are congruent two line segments ka congruent hote hain if they have the same length kab hote hain if they have the same length m and two angle two congruent angles one is measure 70 degree so what is the measure agar do triangles congruent hai aur usme se ek ka measurement kitna hai students yes usme se ek ka measurement kitna hai students 70 डिग्री तो दूसरे का भी कितना होगा स्टूडेंट्स 70 डिग्री और जब एंगल ए इज इक्वल टू बी होता है तो वी मींस जब एंगल ए इज इक्वल टू बी होता है तो इसका मींस एंगल ए का मेजर इक्वल होता है एंगल बी के आपको दो रियल लाइफ एग्जांपल्स देने हैं अपनी डेली लाइफ से दो कॉन्ग्रेंट शेप के एग्जांपल्स देने हैं वो आपको खुद सोचना है स्टूडेंट्स नाउ कम्स टू द थर्ड क्वेश्चन
थर्ड क्वेश्चन ट्राइंगल ए बी सी कॉन्ग्रेट टू ट्राइंगल एफ ई डी तो वट यू हैव टू वी हैव गिवन दैट ए बी सी कॉन्ग्रेट टू एफ ई डी तो राइट द ऑल कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग पार्ट यू हैव टू राइट द ऑल कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग पार्ट इन दिस केस वट विल बी एंगल ए कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग एंगल एफ एंगल बी कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग एंगल ई एंगल सी कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग एंगल डी एंड साइड ए बी कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग टू साइड ई एफ ई एंड बी ई कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग टू सॉरी बी सी कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग टू ई डी एंड ए सी कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग टू एफ डी इन दिस वे स्टूडेंट्स वी कैन डू इट सॉरी दिस इज दाइट सेगमेंट तो ए बी कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग टू एफ सी बी सी कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग टू ई डी नेमिंग नेमिंग शुड बी वेरी पर्टिकुलर बी सी ई डी एंड ए सी कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग टू एफ डी तो दिस इज द कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग साइड एंड दीज आर कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग एंगल्स तो स्टूडेंट्स यू हैव टू कंप्लीट दिस साइड एक्सरसाइज सेवन पॉइंट वन हैव टू कंप्लीट एक्सरसाइज सेवन पॉइंट वन इट इज टू इजी टू डू थैंक्स अ स्टूडेंट्स थैंक्स अ लॉट कंप्लीट एंड नोट इट डाउन यस स्टूडेंट्स कंप्लीटेड एंड नोट इट डाउन Thank you students thanks a lot